In this free custom website lesson, we'll teach you how to add and edit a page. To add a page to your site, mouse over Pages on your WordPress dashboard's main menu. When the submenu pops out, select Add New. You can also click Pages and then click Add New at the top of the Pages list. Clicking Add New will take you to the Page Editor, where you can create and make changes to a page. First, begin by adding a title to your page. Click on the Enter Title Here field and input your title. To set the title, click anywhere off the field. WordPress will automatically generate the Pages link or permalink for you. However, if you would like to edit that link, you can click Edit to the right of the permalink and change it to whatever you'd like. To finalize the edit, click OK. Now, you'll want to add some content to your page. You'll do this within the main text editor. For beginners, you're going to want the editor to be in visual mode. If you're feeling confident or know a little HTML, feel free to use it in text mode. Visual mode operates much like a typical word processor, with all the text formatting options you typically find available to you. WordPress will do the heavy lifting and convert this into HTML so the browser can read it. This HTML can always be viewed in text mode. Start by adding some content. You can either type the content directly into the text editor, or you can copy-paste from a document. Let's add some text formatting. To display the text formatting options, make sure to click the Toggle Toolbar button. Like a typical word processor, you can bold text, italicize, underline, add bullet points and numbered lists, link up images, and more. Your site will also come with preset styles for elements, like headers and paragraphs. These presets were created and saved by your designers when your site was being built. Our designers have a good eye, so chances are you'll want to use these presets. To add a preset to your text, simply highlight your text, click the drop-down shown, and select whichever preset you'd like. While you're at it, let's add an image to your page. You'll want to tell WordPress where to place your image by clicking on the area of text you'd like the image to appear. Now click Add Media. You can either select an image from your current media library or you can select a new file from your hard drive. Click Select Files and select your desired image. Click Open. WordPress will now upload it to your media library. Within your media library, you can now choose your image's display settings. Choose your image's alignment. You can have it align left, center, right, or none. Let's have it align right. Now select your image's link. You can link the image up to its address in the library, to a URL of your choice, or nothing at all. We don't want to link this image, so just select None. You can adjust the size of your image here as well. WordPress has some presets for you. We'll select Medium. Now that we're ready, click Insert into Page. Further edits can be made to the image by hovering over the image and selecting Edit. Or you can remove the image by selecting Delete. We're happy with the way this looks, so we'll move on. Now that you're done entering your content, let's tell WordPress where to place your page in your Pages directory. This is done in the Page Attributes section. If you're creating a top-level page, Simply keep No Parent selected in the drop-down menu. If the page is a sub-page of another, click the drop-down and select its parent. Don't worry about the template settings and order settings. Lastly, let's add a featured image. Featured images are not required, so if you don't have one, no worries. You can skip this part. To add a featured image, click Set Featured Image. 
Now you can either select an image from your current media library, or you can select a new file off your hard drive. Click Select Files and select your desired image. Click Open. WordPress will now upload it to your media library. Click Set Featured Image. And there you go. You can now publish your page by clicking Publish. Or, if you're not quite finished, you can change the status of the page to Draft or Pending Review. To delete a page, navigate back to the list of all your pages. On the left-hand side of all pages, you'll see a checkbox. Click one or multiple checkboxes of the pages you'd like to delete and then select Move to Trash from the Bulk Actions pull-down menu. Now click Apply to Delete. We hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for using Free Custom Website.